London, allegedly a safe haven for Russian oligarchs looking to clean their dirty money. A laundry some claim has allowed billions of dollars obtained through illegal or questionable means to be funneled out of Russia and into legitimate assets in the UK. Money that is helping to support one of the world's longest serving leaders, Vladimir Putin. Uh, that was one of the problems in the first place. It was obvious that many of these people were keeping very close links with the Russian state and indeed therefore could do President Putin's work for him. All that, I think, has been completely blown apart. The British government has sanctioned some of Russia's wealthiest and most influential oligarchs in a bid to punish Putin via his allies. But critics say it's little too late, given that Moscow's armed aggression towards Ukraine started with the annexation of Crimea back in 2014. Well, I think that there, there is an enormous amount of Russian influence in the West. Russian money has been paying for all sorts of things. There have been all sorts of um, uh, politicians from the West on Russia's payroll. And, uh, and as a result, um, anytime anyone has wanted to get tough, there's always been somebody inside the tent arguing against it. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has warned there is no place for dirty money in the UK, pushing through an economic crime bill that promises to expose illicit finance. And yet, since Johnson took office, the Conservative Party has accepted more than $2 million from donors linked to Russia. Behind me, in one of London's most exclusive streets, is the multi-million dollar home of Roman Abramovich, sanctioned by the UK over his close relationship with Vladimir Putin. The oligarch, who owns Chelsea Football Club, has an estimated net worth of more than $12 billion, much of which has been spent in or processed through the City of London. His assets have now been frozen, although like many, Abramovich was given time to start moving his wealth before the hammer came down. I don't believe that any oligarch can sway Putin, but what I do believe is that if these oligarchs are acting as his trustee, then um, we're, we're, we're targeting Putin directly by doing this. The crackdown on money laundering and corruption is a positive step, but it took an assault on Ukraine and international condemnation to make it happen. Julie Dager, TRT World, London.